But uh, man, you know, ever since we played, you you've been incredibly busy. So uh, uh, I think you played quite a lot, and uh, you know, I, I want to start this talk. I listened to to a record you did with this uh, bass player Giuseppe Milacci, and uh, it sounds beautiful. This trio, mm -hmm. and there's this one tune that we also played, uh, Al, Al Blade or Al Blade or yeah, Al right. And uh, I remember it, it's uh, when we played it, it's such a beautiful ballad, melody and changes. And, uh, you know, I've, and I've always liked ever since you did song lines, you're writing, composing. And, uh, you know, what, what's your process there when you write? How, how do you start to write? Where, where do you start? What... Um, <clears throat> most of the time, I... Uh... First, I'm I'm not I I'm not so, some like I'm like I'm not like some composers who who write melodies or or changes or whatever mm. a, a piece of music every day a little piece of music every day and and then yeah to 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 practice writing yeah. so I'm not that kind of a composer if I am a composer but oh, okay. I, I I compose well sometimes I write I write a piece of music on the paper um, because I have a little idea but most of the time it stays in the in the um, in the notebook <clears throat> uh, so I when I, I I write some music I have to 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 have a, a project I, it's a I mean it's a um, uh, um i i uh, i am asked by by most of the time by myself but <laughs> sometimes by some someone else to to, um, to to write some music so i know the um, the band the band yeah. I, i have to write for and um i try to to answer myself wh what kind of songs fast tune many changes or um, things that that can be that can f um, go to to impro or yeah. a bluesy thing uh, a ballad uh, complex harmony or simple harmony that, that can i have um, um in, Fr in french we say cahier des charges i don't know um, you know I, I don't know the, the word, but mm. um, yes, yeah, so I, I have, I, I, I checked boxes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and, what you uh, yeah. Yeah. First tune, many harmonies, uh, uh, complex melody, very simple, uh, diatonic, diatonic tunes yeah, or what, whatever. Yeah. And, and then I, I fill the, <laughs> the boxes to, to, to um, so I, I, I try to have a, a, a simple idea first two or three chord, chord changes or simple melody and then as i know where i want i want to go i i so i um, i think i i i work as an architecture yeah yeah I, yeah. yeah and um so uh, when the the first ideas come how long with will, will be the form Uh, yeah, so, so many many things like, like this, this this little little um, little uh, parameters of a yeah. song actually yeah. that I that I um, I choose and then it's for me it's easier um, because I I know what I want to do and, and yeah. so um, I try to do it simply. Yeah. You, you you still write nowadays? I mean, uh, you know, I remember those tunes from the first record, like Ritornel and Lubies and that stuff. I love that stuff. Like, mm -hmm. do you still write nowadays? Yeah. Something for you as a band leader? I mean, do you have some projects going on as you? No, no. <clears throat> I I play in, in quite a, a few bands. Yeah. yeah. Um, different different orchestrations, different musicians, different kind of 
jazz or <clears throat> so i i i don't i don't feel the the, the need to, mm. to 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 have my 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 own band uh because i'm i'm quite mm-hmm. happy with the music i, I play with the other other people yeah. and um to be honest <clears throat> I'm not very good and very interested in uh, business <laughs> and in organization. So, um, yeah. So, why? for now, my last record on my on my on by myself only is so, and I I had a. I had a, a contract in a, with a, a record company. Yeah, yeah. So I, I made tw- three, three records of mine. I mean, on, not a collaboration or duet or something, but just on my name. Uh, so, but yeah, I, I would be happy to 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 do it. But it's so much work and so much yeah. and so much uh, money sometimes. And so, so I'm not. Uh, um, I'm not enough uh, uh, courageous, I would say, mm-hmm. and uh, and not enough um, um, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm happy enough with the music I, I'm, oh, sure. I'm yeah. to, not to make it by my own, yeah. but I'm okay. I, for sure, I will make... Uh, some some other productions later but not for my, for now i'm i'm yeah, okay yeah. interesting yeah no I, I love those records you made you know that's why i'm asking it's like you know when you're a side man you, you always bring something special i mean i have you on so many records but when you're a band leader even further i mean i like your compositions so that's why i'm asking that uh, yeah <laughs> you know. but so, sometimes i am um, for uh for, for 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 instance the the this trio i i, I brought one tune the the one you know yeah. with the henri texier i i, I brought a, a tune with emile parisien it's, a, yeah. it's an old tune but it's a tune of mine on, on the last record yeah so sometimes what some of my compositions are recorded or played live. yeah yeah but um, i'm not I'm not a compulsive composer. <laughs> I'm a pra- composer. pragmatic composer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. But uh, you mentioned Emile Parisian. I listened to the new one, man, and it's beautiful. And, uh, you know, with Americans, also rhythm section, it's it changes the vibe a little bit. Nasheed and Joe. And uh, how, how was the experience with those guys to play? I mean, how, how what did this change within the group of with Emile? I mean... Oh, it's great. Uh, uh, well, the um, the thing is, uh, actually, we we recorded in um, uh, eight, uh, eighteen months ago in in mm. June uh, of the year before, oh, yeah. and and I didn't know at all. I'm, I mean, I, I knew them as as musicians, but I've never met uh, Nashi, Joe, and Theo. Yeah. Uh, of course, I, I know very well Emil for a, a long time. Roberto also, uh, also sorry, I, I switch to French sometimes. <laughs> and, um, uh, Roberto, the piano player, and um, so we, we played. To, to, I played a, ve- a lot with in uh, many bands with uh, with uh, yeah. Emil, so we know each other very very well. And, uh, so we we spent we spent one week in uh, Amiens in in, uh, oh, yeah. in Picardy in, in North of France to to meet to rehearse and to record. So oh, it was quite ch- challenging, but it, w- it was a great experience. And and um, and uh, last year, so two twenty two thousand twenty two, we we played uh, something like forty concerts. Oh so, wow! Which, that's uh, which is great. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> not so many European band. I mean, not so many bands can can play yeah. so in so, so so many concerts. So so of course the the band uh, improved a lot. So and we we have fun to 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 play together, I guess, and and yeah. the. 
And the, yes, the, the, um, the American guys, uh, uh, especially the rhythm sections, doesn't, they play is different than, different, yeah, yeah. I mean, every, everyone is different. Yeah. Are they different than the American? I don't know, <laughs> but, but, um, for sure they, yeah, it's, it's, um, I, I, I mean, the, of course they play great. They, they play great together, Nashit and Joe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm, and it's, it's very challenging and, and, uh, uh, uh not so challenging, but very, very uh, musicians. No, sometimes not so easy because it's uh, <laughs> yeah. Nashit is, is a great musician, but it's, it's not so easy to, to, in my opinion, to to for the first times to 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 to, to play with with him because uh, he he's very free and uh, free, yeah. so you have to. Be, to be yeah, yeah. Uh, your internal self-confident yeah, <laughs> self yeah. to 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 be scared <laughs> it was okay yeah uh, and and so we, we so so as we played so many concepts i'm i'm quite relaxed now <laughs> yeah <laughs> no no but then i know what you mean yeah he's like really within the time he's doing so much yes yeah moving but it's great i mean oh it's, it's amazing it's, yeah it's, it's very um, it's very it it feeds the the creativity yeah. of other guys and so he he makes a, a good job <laughs> to, yeah, you know, oh man sure yeah. i mean he's he's a great drummer anyway yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, when was the first time you st started playing with emil actually i mean you, you guys have been playing for such a long time right oh yeah um uh emil is um He's a, a little bit young, he, younger than me. Maybe yeah. he has six. He he just turned forty, so okay. yes, he right. has seven years less than yeah. me. And so, um, when he arrived in Paris, he, he came in Paris from uh, his Toulouse or something. Mm. He's, uh, um, uh, he was, he was, uh, yeah, he, he was, uh, 20 or 19 or something. And, um, uh, <clears throat> we, we had a, a friend called, uh, Remy Vignolo. Oh yeah. The, the bass player. Yeah. Um, now he's a drummer, but. <laughs> oh no, he's a drummer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He, he, he switched to, to drum. Really? He oh. was, he still is a, a very great, uh, yeah, great, great oh, bass, bass player. But he didn't want to, to play uh, bass maybe 15 years ago. He, really? He, I didn't know that. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he switched to, um, to drums. Wow. Okay. Which, which is the, his first instrument. So, yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, so, um, yeah, he, he made a, a band with, a, with a, it was with a... Fabrice Moreau at, uh, mm -hmm. at the beginning with a, a drummer, and then then um, uh, Tony Rabison joined us, and he 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 called me. He did, he he told me, yes, I, I want to make a band with a young uh, <laughs> saxophone player uh, from the southwest of France. He plays great, and uh, that's it. So I think. Yeah, the, the first time we met, it was for the rehearsal and with the, for this new band. So it was mm, twenty, it was twenty or twenty-one years ago, oh, I think, yeah. something like wow. that. And then <clears throat> we we played in in uh, in with uh, a lot with uh, Georgi Karnazov. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Play. yeah. Uh, we played with uh, Leila Olivesi, a piano player, a good friend of mine. I mean, they are good, all good friends of mine. Actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, we played with uh, Christophe Valem, bass player. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love his, those records. Yeah. Yeah, you you know uh, everyone. You... <laughs> yeah, I have <laughs> those records actually. Uh, we, we, because of you, I bought them like years ago. Uh, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I love that stuff. And. Uh... Yes, and maybe some some other things, 
and um, yeah, we we had uh, so and and then he he made um, uh, a band with uh, Joachim Kuhn, which the the band is called Fumato. We we oh, yeah. we recorded maybe five or six years ago, and I was in in the band. And uh, then I, I am in his new band also. So yeah, yeah, we, we played a, a lot together. Yeah. And uh, we, uh, I mean, he's a great, great musician, oh, yeah. very, very warm guy. And so I, I love. He's a yeah, he's a friend of, of mine, and oh. and and I'm very happy to to play to play with him. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's beautiful when I hear you. You know, it's such a nice connection you have, and you bring this it's a, such a nice. You know, I think to every, when I said I bought all those records with you, you always bring to a group such a nice sound, you know, either, either with Daniel Lumer or uh, Eric Truffaut or, you know, Henri Texier, like it's this sound that you have. And, uh, uh, you know, how did you develop your sound? Like, I, I remember when we played also, you played one chord and I was like, man, I need to sell all my equipment and buy new stuff. <laughs> just, I mean, how did, how did you develop your sound? And, you know, who were your, I don't know, influences in jazz? Like, I mean, I hear some Bill Frizzell, I hear maybe Alan Holdsworth, but then you created your own voice. Like, how was the story with you and jazz guitar, especially? I mean, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah. I, I I assume totally that I, I I can sometimes sound a little like Bill Frizzell or or sometimes Pat Metheny or John Scofield or because I, I listen to to them so so much that it's the music they they made with the with the yeah. guitar is in in inside me in, in a way so sometimes I have ideas that came direct directly from from them and some some musicians don't don't don't, don't want to want to erase influences or, but I, I say I'm okay it's it's my, my musical culture my musical yeah. identity it uh, uh, comes uh, a little from from each of those guys so okay I'm okay Alan Swartz also or Jimi Hendrix or right. I don't know um so i'm i'm not yes if someone tells me oh it reminds me uh, this guy i'm okay and uh, mm -hmm. sometimes i think they're wrong but <laughs> but uh okay I, I so yes and about my 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 guitar playing and effects and so on i <clears throat> uh, for a long time was i was a student i didn't have a uh, pedals at all i just plug the, the oh, guitar really? in the, oh. uh, and I because I, I was I was working on um, notes I would I would say so what not yeah. do I play when at what time so I was practicing time and and uh, harmony I would say yeah uh, so um, maybe I, I at that time I was I forgot the I, the the I mean I was not um, involved I, I mean I, I forgot the idea of the, the the music the I mean the um, how would I say that the uh, the first I mean what what makes music the first yeah. element of music is uh, sound. Yeah. So it's yeah. not a note, it's not a rhythm, it's sound. And notes and rhythm make sound fit together. So yeah. I think the, the first, the first um, in French, we would say matière première. Uh, the, um, yeah, okay. The first ingredient of music is uh, sound. So, yeah. Um, so I, I say that now, because, but at the time it was not so... Sure so not in, in my mind but and um and when when i was in the conservatory in, in mid 90s um there I, I was i had listened to to many to many records and but some there there was some some 
style of jazz I didn't know so so much so can some improvised music or mm. um, free jazz I didn't know I, of course I had listened to to some to some some records but yes it was not in uh, my as, as I told you my 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 goal was to to play uh, good notes in yeah. good rhythm. <laughs> yeah, but well, that's so, important, man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. So, <clears throat> and then I, I met some some people who were students uh, at that time, like Christophe Monio, who is a great saxophone player. Yeah, uh, I I I, will, I, will, I was um, yeah I would like I. I I was about to 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 give a style, but I, I prefer not. <laughs> but he likes improvis improvisation. Yeah. He can play changes, but he play, can play anything. But he likes very much improvisation. He he's a uh, uh, and I remember. Uh, so we were practicing uh, arrangements and, and so on, and he he bring at, at the school at the class. Uh, an arrangement and um, he gave uh, um, uh, the music to everyone and except me he told me just just make sounds so okay <laughs> so, uh, so i was qu quite um, a little bit uh, confused because uh, yeah if you do if you don't i don't have chord changes or yeah. you know I, I don't know what to play. so i try to yeah to 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 make some sounds <laughs> and then to to turn the to to make to 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 have some drive on the amp and then and so on and to to yeah to to and to to touch the guitar and the strings and to i mean even with a single vibrato it yeah. makes some changes to so yeah so uh, it was kind of a kind of revelation, maybe it's a little bit exaggerated, but it made me uh, switch to, to the way that music is made of sounds, yeah, mm. in a way. I mean, it's it's more complex than that. No, than no, that, of course, uh, yeah, yeah sure. but I know what you mean. To, to resume, so, so I... I, I, I um, <clears throat> I tried to. Uh, I started to to to, to buy a delay pedal, overdrive, uh, volume pedal, and so on, and and to make to try to to have a, a wider register of sounds, and um, and uh, yeah, I develop. Yeah, I mean, I, de I for for um, yeah, I I had a, a setup. With uh, many delays, I use a lot of delays and volume pedals and distortion. And I mean, like, like most of guitar players. Yeah, I yeah mean, sure. But, yeah. But, uh, and then it's it's <clears throat> so I, uh, so like like if if I I play a C major, I can play many chords, many different chords with a uh, yeah two two note chords or three yeah. or whatever. Any registers with harmonics or whatever, and and the the sound I have with the pedals and the delays and uh, it's it's for me it's the the same the same um, way of thinking that uh, if I have to play uh, I don't know a ballad with a yeah. C major I have to to think what what chords I, I have to play what lines I have to play but also what with what with which sound sound yeah. Sound who, 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 who could fit the, the the music, so so it's the same kind of uh, parameters. So the note we play, where well, the the rhythm, the sound uh, we make, so it, it's uh, all together. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hear that. I mean, you know, I mentioned all those guys that, of course, they're influenced, but you 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 made like really an original voice. You know, I hear I hear you. Which is in modern jazz guitar, if you put it like that, it's quite heavy to achieve. But you play like a chord, and I was like, "Oh, that's Manu." You, yeah. you know, it's like you somehow, I don't know, or maybe I, I got used to your sound also. But you know, you yeah. made like your own dough somehow. So, uh, which is beautiful, man. But uh, you, you mentioned, 
the mid 90s in Paris and uh was it hard for you to enter the scene I mean what were the first connections you you actually made to that you started to get gigs and playing well but before uh, um <clears throat> Well, I was born in, in a little town of east of France, uh, and uh, so I, I I go a little earlier, and um, and uh, I I also I already had gigs in uh, first in in the in the in the city the area then later in the region where I. I I, I had connections with uh, some people, some musicians from maybe 100 kilometers away, yeah. and then so, so I, I make. But still, I'm 15. That's the way I'm. I, I mean, like like everywhere, I guess. Everybody, I guess. <clears throat> so, but when when I, I I came to Paris, I I had my connection in the in the way. Regions for yeah. from and um, but it was very it was a regional regional scene I mean, more, more or less and when when I I went to the conservatory in Paris so I, I met of course new new guys with my my um, the students like me Pierce, yeah. teachers also and um, and so I I. I so my my uh, network, I would say, w was made by by itself because just because I was there. So we had we were jamming at the, at the school, and sometimes we had a few gigs. We we made, but I mean, not not so much me, but I was in 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 bands, um, and and so. Yeah, I, I play gig. People see me play. Yeah. They call me. I mean, it's a very, very uh, common uh, situation. And uh, <clears throat> but I, I didn't. And I know so many people have, have have to to go to the jam sessions and give their numbers. And uh, but I didn't need to 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 do that. Uh, by the way, I didn't. I don't like so much, so much jam session. Most of the time, uh, I think the music is uh, is not good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's not good. So, um, and we have to wait uh, to to play your solo. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not my. I'm I'm very frustrated most of the time in jam session. But unless uh, um, I, I know people and we can play, uh, or sometimes. It, it may, sometimes we, the connections are, are maybe yeah. that's great, but it's not so often. Yeah. So, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I, I, at the school, I, I met many people, uh, including the teachers, because, so, for instance, um, uh, Daniel Humer was uh, the, the what, Daniel Humer. That's how yeah. you met Daniel. Okay. Yeah, he was he was my ah, teacher. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, he he made a band uh, called Baby Boom. Baby Boom, yeah, I love that stuff, man. I, I love it. <laughs> that would not be uh, the good name now, <laughs> but <laughs> it, it was the, with um, yeah, well, that was Christophe Monio, uh, uh, Mathieu Donario also, yeah. who is a good friend of mine. Yeah, we, he's he's great. Yeah, yeah. We, we, played together, we played together from 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 the school from twenty five years. Uh, 30 years I would say and um, and uh, yeah he, we were, the three of us was uh, were his, his students so yeah and this was uh, your first and, like big gig right with Daniel actually I mean you know he's one of the legends of European jazz but was this like yeah, the first yeah. major gig you got like with Daniel uh, yeah, I remember maybe in 1999, uh, he, he was used to, to, to play, to, to make concerts with a um, couple of different bands and then to join, but you, you know, with, uh, he was play, he was playing at that time with uh, Marc Ducré yeah. and, uh, and um, Bruno Chauvillon with uh, Joachim Kuhn. So I, I met all those guys and... And so, so we we play four tunes, four tunes with the, this new band, he, uh, 
for us. But so yeah, it was in quite great venue. So yeah, it was kind of my first big gigs in yeah. great venues with many people uh, in the audience. And yeah, yeah, I could say that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> The, 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 is the I mean the, I think the first time I saw it was with Eric Truffaut, like the early two thousands I guess. Like is is that how Eric found out about you through Danielle or how how did that connection happen with Eric? Eric, ah, that's that's a kind of a funny funny story. Yeah, uh, uh, Eric, I, I, that. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, he he was a very in a very uh, high moment of uh, his career in twenty yeah. nine uh, something like that, and so he has uh, the, his band with uh, the Swiss guys, uh, uh, and he wa he wanted to to um, he was looking for a, a new band. Yeah, yeah. And then I. <clears throat> The year before, I think it was ninety eight or ninety nine. I I had a uh, with those many bands we 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 were, that were formed in the in the conservatory. We we had a, a contest, mm -hmm. just contest, yeah. In uh, La Défense, is the yeah. business uh, yeah city in, in, in the west of Paris with the uh, buildings and so on. Yeah. Um, there is a festival here and a contest for for young musicians. And uh, one year, I I won the the uh, the first prize, the soloist, and, uh, oh, and with okay. the bands. Of, I was in I was in four bands, and so so I I was on stage most of the time. <laughs> so I, I I won the the first prize, soloist. And um, and three bands I was in won the first, second, and third. Uh, wow! Band. Okay. <laughs> so I I was kind of uh, <laughs> yeah. Manu oh, but, festival. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, and um, okay that that's the thing. And so I didn't know Eric as as a person. Of course, I I knew, I knew him as a musician and. Uh, um and uh, so the year after uh, yeah he he has a, a gig at the at the jazz festival uh, in la defense and uh, the 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 guy from the festival uh, the director of the festival uh, uh, told him uh, yeah it would be great if you have a, a guest or something uh, so he 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 said, "Okay, I want Pat Metheny." <laughs> so it could it, it was not possible sure. for many reasons, I guess. Sure. And uh, uh, so he 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 told, "Oh, uh, anyway, I would play with my band." And I heard that the young guitarist uh, who plays good uh, uh, won this this contest, and so uh, why not him? So it was kind of a you know, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, the guest was was not uh, the didn't have the um, the same level of uh, <laughs> name and fame, or let's say whatever. Yeah, uh, famous, famous. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> and uh, of music also. But <clears throat> uh, so so he, I I I received a, a call from his uh, agent and. Uh, he told me, uh, "Yeah, I'm the agent of uh, Eric Truffaz, and he wants you to, to 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 come and play with his band for a few tunes." Uh, yeah, so I so, said, "Yeah, okay, <laughs> no problem." So uh, I think it was in '99. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So oh, I, yeah. I play uh, maybe the half of the concerts with uh, them with no rehearsal, uh, but I mean the the music is is quite open. So open and jamming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he cued me to to play a solo and oh, yeah and it, uh, it was fun yeah it was very fun and, and very big very big audience and uh, um, yeah that was uh, and uh, the, the, that's the story and so after after that he so he 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 made a band with a uh, with uh, me on the guitar instead of uh, keyboards yeah. and uh, Philippe Garcia and Garcia, Michel yeah. Benita and 
So, and we recorded in, uh, in two, 2000, yeah. Yeah. Mantis. Mantis, Mantis. yeah. yeah. Those, those were Blue Note, actually, right? Blue Note records. Yeah. yeah, the French numbers. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that was a big one. I, I remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, and we played, so, we played many, many gigs in all around the world. I mean, all around the world, but I mean, in Mexico, in the in US, mm. in all, uh, all Europe, and in Africa, South Africa. And, wow. And it was great. And, um, and uh, at that time, so it's quite a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> he 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 played for his music was very popular in, in the uh, for the students or uh, young yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. So we played uh, for, in uh, stand, standing uh, standing uh, venues and uh, wow. with uh, many people uh, at least uh, at least five hundred or something. Very 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 many people dancing and uh and we and we played can kind of um not so easy music yeah, yeah, it was very and, so, and sometimes we we went very far and because it was kind kind of free free jazz free yeah. rock or something. yeah 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 uh, but pe the young people yeah, uh, that was great yeah. And, yeah, and, um, yeah that was great yeah yeah that's amazing uh oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, with Eric, when you started touring all around the world, was it like you imagined? Uh, you know, when we were younger, I, I remember when I was a teenager, you know, I used to go see Pat Metheny and I was like, had this romantic vision of touring, you know, see them on stage and like, and then when you start touring, it's like, man, that's heavy. Like, how was your first experience like of this really longer, bigger tours? Um. Uh, first, I, I, before playing with uh, with uh, Eric, I, I played with the National uh, Orchestra. Oh uh, yeah, okay. National Orchestra, directed by uh, Paolo Damiani, who's a oh, yeah. Italian Cello bass player. player. Right? Bass player. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so we we already, I mean, and also before we, I played gigs in uh, sometimes in Germany, not not very far, yeah, but. I started to to go to go uh, more uh, outside more far, yeah. far rest. and um, and and with the national orchestra also we 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 went to Italy often we took the plane and so so I was used to 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 pack my stuff with the the guitar the pedals and the, my clothes and my uh, <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, I, the progression was uh, was uh, linear. And then uh, touring, so we made maybe three three with Eric. With we um, some sometimes three weeks too, not wow. not going back home. That's a lot. Yeah. Uh, which is not so much for some some rock bands. Yeah, or, yeah, sure, but but that, that's not often we, we we do that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, you, you you get used to to not not to not come back at home to to have some uh, something to wash your your underwear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. To, how to 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 dry to dry them in the hotel room and that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, and to to manage the the. Sleep time, that, that the yeah, yeah. Uh, fiesta time, uh, not so much. But, uh, <laughs> to be to be uh, in order to to play the next gig. Yeah. And uh, what about what about on the creative side for you? Like, let's say you know, if you play, yeah, yeah, yeah. fourteen gigs in a row. It's, it's not it? very musical. What I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's great to to play to play with the same band, the same the same songs, or mostly uh, yeah. every night in, in different places because the the sound, of course, is different. You have, you, you can play. You, yeah, it's. I mean, it's a um, uh, and especially as as the Eric's music w was very. I mean, open, yeah, yeah. very. Uh, not very open, I would say. He he, he let musicians uh, 
uh, take some in initiatives yeah. and they have to 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 the i mean in every music but especially in yeah. in, in his, his way of uh, managing uh, the, the the music and the band so um, yeah that's great because some some we, we play so we played a lot of, of gigs and, and especially in tours we, we when we play uh, you know 15 gigs in in a row in uh, in 18 days uh, yeah, that's yeah with the the sound checks we can try some things sometimes we and and, uh, and even on on stage during during the the concerts we um, uh, which is great is we 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 can we have some uh, some ideas uh, spontaneously on at the moment so the the other react uh, and then it, we if we, we we can remember that that kind of that way of play that ways of playing together and then uh, it makes like like um, like a repertoire of uh, yeah. of um, ways of playing um, playing modes i don't uh, yeah i know what you mean uh, yeah and so, and we, we can call them uh, when we want, so we, we can change, or, or we, we can just simply improvise or remember things we already made. Yeah. So playing yeah, playing a lot in a, in a, in a, with no no not so much time between gigs or between the the tours that so that we we can remember all the all the these these um these uh yeah ways of playing i would say yeah, yeah. That, that fit the the music uh a lot and uh, also have, have, and, uh, ourselves also as a, as a and gives ideas and give uh and see also learn that something some things don't work don't so, work yeah yeah and, um, yeah, you you get yeah a lot of experience, of course, uh, on being a lot on stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how did you manage? Oh, you, you you know, when I see the records, I have you on, and uh, kind of at the same time you were playing with Eric Truffaut, Daniel Umer, and also mm -hmm. Henri Texier. Like, how did you? Yeah, it was, yeah. How did you manage all that? And uh, I mean, with Henri, you, you still basically are connected. And like, how did you hook up with Henri actually? How did, did I uh, met Henri? Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, at, at, yes, in maybe 2006 or something, I, I was very, very busy, a, bit, a little bit too much <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> and um, uh, uh, much more than now, but I, I'm quite, I'm, I'm not complaining at all, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have. There were many more gigs uh, at that time than, than now, but it's okay. And um, <clears throat> yeah, sometimes oof, it was uh, it was uh, not easy with the calendars and yeah. Uh, but um, with Henri, uh, well, um, I think he he heard me with uh, with uh, Daniel because okay. they they, play, they they know each yeah. other for. for for a Fifth very years, long time, yeah. <laughs> and um, and also <clears throat> he plays with uh, his son Sebastian, who plays uh, uh, um, uh, alto saxophone, saxophone. And, yeah. and clarinet, and, uh, also alto clarinet, which is uh, not so often. And uh, <clears throat> we are more. He is a little older than me but we are more in the same uh, gener generation he, he played a, a lot with uh, Christophe Marguet mm -hmm. who yeah. I, I played with him uh, a lot in many bands also and, and um, he was the drummer of uh, the uh, um, National Orchestra when I was in it so, oh, okay. so the connection yeah he, he I think Sebastian talked to talk about me to 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 Henri and uh, then we, he, uh, it was, I think, in 24 or 3 or something. Um, <clears throat> he wanted to, Henri wanted to, to make a new band. Uh, actually, he wanted to make two new bands, a, a quintet without me and a quartet 
with me and uh, Sebastian and uh, Tony Rabesson. Yes. And, uh, uh, so we play a couple, a couple of gigs in quartet. And then maybe I replaced someone in the quintet. And then he went, he made one, one sextet with, uh, with me and, uh, and uh, Georgi Kornazov also. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, François Corneloup and Christophe Marguet and, and Sébastien. And uh, from this time, uh, uh, I, wo I, oh, I often was in, uh, in uh, his different bands, not, not, all, uh, all, not, not uh, all the bands. Sometimes he played he play in trio, yeah. sometimes. But um, yeah, I played a lot, a lot with him, and we we have to we we will record a new really? something new June. Oh. So wow, beautiful! So, um, I, I, he's been uh, again. <laughs> no. Wow, fantastic! And um, yeah, yeah, and so that, that's great to have to have to 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 play with uh, some some guys from from so many times, and. Uh, as as a as 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 side minds, but also as as a I, I mean um, with with uh, me as side man and the yeah. other guy as side yeah. because we play a, a lot like we did with Emil and and so many guys and and also to 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 be the side man of a, of a band leader even if the band is is different like in Henry because. I know quite well what he's expecting from yeah. the music, and for me especially, and for the other guys. And, and I, I, uh, I think he, he trusts me. And uh, I remember at the, when we met the first time, he was very, very directive. He said, he said, I don't want that. I want to play. He oh, really? was wow, okay. even, yeah. Come, come uh, here, but uh, be quiet here, and uh, and um, and uh, oh, yeah, it was uh, not. We we played some some free from, from yeah, open yeah. music, but but I think he, he had to to um, uh, to to do this this way to how to to learn us how he what wanted he wants. to. to yeah. Yeah, what he wants when what what especially he doesn't want and uh, and how he wants to the the band to to to, to work yeah. and, uh, so now for so many records some so many gigs and some so many uh, different bands I know I I think he doesn't have sometimes of course he says something but I, I know exactly what what he what he, yeah, he wants. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, that, so he brings a, a tune, and and, it, it, and we we make it. I, th I think sound quite quite quickly because everybody knows uh, the the way. Yeah, to, what he. Yeah, uh, yeah. That, that's that's great. But I have I, I realize I I, re I mean like, like, so I'm get I'm getting quite. Old now, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not so old any, anyway, um, and uh, so th there are a couple of musicians I, I played a lot with them, with them in, in different bands. I would say uh, Christophe yeah. Marguet, Henri Texier, Émile Parisien, Mathieu Donarier, Christophe Monio, uh, um, and uh, Georgi Kornazov. Yeah. Most of them are, are friends from the conservatory. I mean, some of them. Uh, and um, so that, that's great to 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 to, to share the, the music and to 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 improve uh, our, ourselves per personally and uh, as yes. a yes. as a duet or yeah and um, so I know if I if I play with, with Mathieu he brings a tune uh, with Mathieu Donarier yeah, also. Yeah. Yeah. He brings a tune. I, I know what, what he. I know what I can play to to fit with uh, his sound, and so it, it's easy. It's easy to to play music and with the uh, the guys, of course. I mean, with the um, guys you know very well, and you yeah. have their in, in the here in, in the ear, and and that, that's great to to have long. I mean, it's, it's not very original what I say, but <laughs> no, no, but, but uh, yeah. It's... Yeah. You know, you listen to Paul McCandless or Ralph Towner, 
from Oregon, they played together like for what 50 years, and you hear they're just like, you know, or many yeah. guys like many, you know, and like yeah, yeah. When when you play a rubato melody, yeah. you 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 just you just feel. Uh, I mean, the, you're together, yeah. you 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 know the, the what what think, he, yeah. he plays when he starts to play or what the the the, the breath or and so so yeah. Yeah, that's so nice. Yeah. Some people you don't know. It's you have more. To, you have to keep more. But with uh, some people like like uh, yeah, Sebastian or Mathieu or Georgi, or, we can play. Um, yeah, close eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I see that. But uh, Mano, you, you mentioned you, you're going to have a new record coming up with Henri. Like, what are your plans for this uh, year besides that? I mean. I guess you're playing with Emil and his band, and like, what else is on the schedule for you? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I have quite, a, I have quite a busy, busy year, and uh, yeah, I, um, yesterday I, wa I was playing with uh, Christophe Marie, who's who, mm -hmm. who's we 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 were working for for uh, for um, one week to, for a new repertoire of uh, oh, his new project, uh, with uh, Hélène Labarrière. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, wow, okay. Cool. Regis Subi. Regis Subi, a veteran player with, who plays with many, uh, many sounds with FFS. Yeah. And, um, and we play to, to, tonight uh, also. <clears throat> oh, fantastic. Near Paris. So, and we will record in uh, October, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> so that, that's a, a new project that is beginning. Uh, we. Mm, Next week, uh, we have uh, um, a concert for the new record of Le Leila Olivesi. Oh, yeah. We, we, piano player and composer. For, for she, she wrote for, for a nine-piece band. Wow. Nine, awesome. band, yeah, yeah, nine. Uh, uh, we are working also uh, for... We, we, mm, with Mathieu Donarier, I was talking uh, about. Uh, we are um, we are meeting again because we we didn't play for maybe four years because of COVID and so yeah, on. Yeah. And, and um, so uh, we are um, going to make something new. Not maybe not record mm, soon, but we we work Beautiful. together. A couple of concerts of meetings with new music he brings and. Uh, so with Henri, uh, uh, I don't like to do that because I for always forgot something. Forget, so yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> and uh, uh, we have a uh, we will have a, a tour in in F end of April in in May in uh, in, uh, in Germany with uh, Emil with oh, uh, Philharmonies, the Philharmonies in Hamburg, Berlin. Mm. Uh, wow, beautiful. So, we, beautiful uh, venues. Wow, yeah. Uh, uh, That's a lot already. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> me, busy, man. And, beautiful. And some, and, and some, some some bands we, who who do, who don't play uh, so so much, but we play uh, maybe five five concerts a year with some, yeah, sure. with some regular bands. Uh, sometimes I'm uh, I'm invited for to really play some some yeah, someone yeah. Yeah. Or, or to just a, a one shot gig with with a, and, um, yeah yeah yeah, yeah I'm, that's beautiful. I'm, Happy, yeah, and, uh, and uh, also I'm, ha I'm happy because I'm I play with uh, with younger or older musicians, and uh, sometimes from not so so much, but sometimes from from people from uh, not from France, mm. but so much like, like we, we we did. Man, we should uh, repeat it. Ten years ago. <laughs> One day, yeah, uh, yeah, that that's. Yeah, uh, I, I I forgot Maxime Bender, mm -hmm. who, who is a sex, uh, Luxem, uh, sex from, from Luxembourg, who had a, a couple of uh, gigs and uh, but yeah, so I I always uh, forgot some something, 
Uh, forgive me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, those for, those who those have yeah. And um, yeah, yeah, no, no, I know what you mean. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I would say maybe I am. I have uh, some. Uh, I'm. I would have. I would be happy to 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 play with with uh, some people from more uh, other countries. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, other countries. Even in Europe, I think the connections are not so. Um, maybe because I come from France. France is is quite a big country. Big so it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. On its own, with a uh, with a uh, French speaking Belgian and French speaking Swiss guys. I think it's it it can be a little bit um, close uh, on its own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have so many connections with uh, Germany or Eastern countries or Spain. It it Italy is because the, the thing is many many there are many people from from abroad in Paris and in yeah. France. So the, the connections are are made, but it, with the people who live here and. So I didn't play so much with uh, s s some people who are not in the in the French jazz scene. Yeah. So, thank yeah. you for the invitation. <laughs> the, and, well, uh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's. it's um, I don't know if it's it's uh, mostly in France because I guess you 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 are you have you have you are no no choice to 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 go to Italy, Austria, Switzerland. Uh, yeah. Or, I mean, it's completely different, you know, the whole country of Slovenia has, I think, not even so many people that live in Paris, you know, Paris has more people than the entire country of Slovenia. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's completely different. And uh, yeah, we, we have, to, I have to play abroad, I mean, to get gigs, yeah, actually, in Slovenia. Not enough. I mean, we, we play, yeah. a, a, but with a... No, I know what you mean, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. But I mean, I'm, I'm happy anyway, but I think... Oh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's nice that I, I like that. Yeah, connect. I I really like connecting with people. You know, when we play. Yeah, that's what you you do you do so so well. That. That's why that. do that. Yeah, so I, I hope we'll do it again one day. You know, yeah, when, when we're fifty, I think. <laughs> 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 that's, that, that's the plan. I'll put it on my schedule. So. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but, but I, yeah. it's great you the 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 work you you yeah. You, like to 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 record so many well, maybe one one record a year or something and with uh, many different yeah people. I try you know it's, yeah that's, I, I, that's... I don't get many gigs as you as a sideman so I have to do my own stuff you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that, that, that's maybe the reason I I I, did, I I'm not so 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 I have quite quite a lot of gigs yeah. so I. I don't feel the as I was told. Uh, the I don't the, feel. The, uh, yeah, the, yeah. I, I told the that. Need. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, mm. but cool, Mano. Uh, thanks so much for sharing uh, some of this stuff. I so so much appreciate it, man. Really, uh, that, nice to hear your talk. Cool to have a talk. So and yeah. then, uh, happy you are, a, a young uh, daddy. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, 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 yeah. How is the name of your... Oh, uh, Luna. Luna, so, so she's a daughter. She's, yeah, she's a girl. She's a girl, yeah. So uh, I think she's going to be fed right now. As my, as I hear sounds coming from the other room slowly. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, man, if you're but around... Things... To... Sorry? Sorry? No, I wanted Everything to say... Is... For you yeah. And, uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all good. So, you know, and um, a little bit tired sometimes, but it's fun. You know, it's amazing. Yeah. It's... It's an amazing thing. So, yeah, it's a new relationship. Yeah, you you don't know before. Oh man, yeah, it's it's great. Yeah. Really beautiful. Yeah, yeah. But uh, if you're gonna be around in uh, Austria or something, let me know. Drop me a line. Uh, we'll get together for a beer or something. Uh, it would be nice to to see you live. Yeah, maybe. Um... Yeah, we we often play with Austria. I didn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, let me know. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm really close, you know. So it would be nice mm -hmm. to see you and chat a little and stuff. So. Okay. Okay. Cool. So thank, thank you. Yeah. Thank you too. Take and, care. Uh, you and, too. Uh, uh,